Hi, I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Duesenberg Tom Bukovac Session Man. The Duesenberg Tom Bukovac Session Man, finished here in natural quilted maple. The neck is flame maple with a D-shaped profile, nitrocellulose finish, rosewood fingerboard, 12 inch radius, 25 and a half inch scale, 22 jumbo nickel frets, and Duesenberg Z tuner tuning machines. The body is single cutaway semi-hollow with a flame maple back and sides, quilted maple top, nitrocellulose lacquer finish, Duesenberg proprietary grand vintage humbuckers in both the neck and bridge, single master volume, single master tone with multi-tone control, piezo activation switch, three-way pickup selector switch, and Duesenberg diamond deluxe vibrato bridge. Finally, this guitar comes set up with 10 to 50 gauge strings and includes a hard shell case from Duesenberg. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the guitar. Before we begin today, let's take a quick look at the amp settings and how we're recording. I'm going through this deluxe reverb reissue. I have the volume a little south of five, the treble between five and six, the bass eh, a little north of four. Reverb from the amp into the aux with a 212 twin reverb setting, a 57 and a 67 on the cab. And here it is. One of, I think, maybe only 10 out right now. The Duesenberg Tom Bukovac Session Man, a beautiful guitar. Designed by old Uncle Larry himself. Yes, uh, Tom Bukovac, if you don't know, is a legendary session guitarist in Nashville and uh, kind of became a little more well-known because during uh, the beginning of the pandemic, he started this great series of videos on his YouTube channel, which I enjoyed thoroughly, as did uh, most of the guitar community. Um, I would watch them all the time. I still do. He's an absolutely amazing guitar player. If you haven't checked him out, you need to because uh, he is the absolute truth and uh, has an amazing collection of vintage guitars. And um, he has been partnered with Duesenberg for a while, so this is the result of their collaboration. It's got some unique features. I'll get into it all. All the guitars you heard at the beginning were this guy. So let's listen to the guitar clean then dirty. As I mentioned, this has a piezo. I'll show you how that comes into play. Let's hear it in the neck, clean, everything on 10. back. This little switch right here activates the piezo in the um, in the bridge here. And what you can do is there's, you probably can't see it on the camera, there's a little notch in the uh, tone control. So right here, let's call it at 50%. This is your tone control. Hit the notch. And then here, you can blend in the piezo only when it's activated. So let's do that. hear it in now.
just bringing it in a little bit really adds a lot of clarity and definition, and then you kind of get more of that sound you traditionally associate with a piezo when you crank it up higher. So let's go back to the middle. And the middle's uh, got a special wiring, gives it a little extra twang, so. Here's the middle, everything on 10. Especially when you get some modulations and things happening, I'll put an old Dimension C on. This kind of sound is really cool, I think. Uh, let's listen. Bridge, all by itself. Tone down a bit. Duesenberg's own humbuckers and uh, one thing I always look for especially with a humbucker and the bridge is when you have you know this amp is, a, is set kind of bright it's a bright amp to begin with and when you have the tone all the way up sometimes you get the, the ice pick but even when you crank it up and really get that snap it's not unpleasant Piezo in. All right, I was using a Greer light speed in the intro. I'm going to go back to that for some kind of low and medium gain sounds. Um, I remember watching something on, uh, it was a rig rundown, and um, Tom Bukovac always talked about on his board how he has just like incremental stages of gain, I think is how he put it. And all the stuff's kind of low gain, you know. In Nashville, that's generally the type of music they're making there. So I'm gonna with, use a pedal he uses, which is the, the Greer Lightspeed. And let's go back to the neck and hear it. No piezo, everything on 10.
Lies Owen. open. Piso back in. I find when you're doing single note parts, adding the piso back in, if you have like a real ambient kind of delay going on, it really brings out the clarity, which this guitar does really well. Piso out, neck, everything on, or bridge, everything on 10. Piso back in. great guitar. That is a great guitar. Super clean, extremely even sounding, beautiful instrument. That's the Duesenberg Tom Bukovac Session Man. Even says so right there. <laughs>